Pepsi. Sponsor me, Pepsi. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Great Pine Gaming. Today, I want to do something a little different, and it's about our setup and what we do. Uh, we've never gone through it before, and I've gotten quite a few questions about it, so I figured... What better time than now? Why am I blurry? Why am I blurry? Am I too close? What's going on? Why am I blurry? There we go. Hello. All right. First thing I want to talk about is, let's see, we got my computer, which is an iMac from old times. I swear to God, I think it's a 2013 model. So I've had this thing for a very long time, but it's held up incredibly well. This is like the workhorse of our entire organization, everything. If we didn't have this, we wouldn't have videos at all, period. And then I guess we can move on to just smaller stuff. Uh, this is the Naga Chroma something, also an old oldie but a goodie. My dog's going crazy. This thing has held up extremely well. I love this wireless mic. I love the dock, everything. It's so clean, magnetic. Oh yeah, look at that. And then this is the Corsair. I don't remember the exact model number, but it's not the red, green, blue one. It's just the standard red boy. So that's pretty much the computer. Um, that's all I use. I mean, I got this mat off Amazon for like, I don't know how much it was, but this is great. If you don't have a full size freaking mouse pad like that, oh my God, it's so nice. Even on the wrist when you're typing and everything. I mean, this is there for that reason, but I don't know. I love it. It's so smooth. It's nice for my phone, everything. It just feels more organized just having that. <clears throat> Moving on to like, I guess we can move on to audio stuff. This is where it gets way, well, I don't know, a little pricey. Not that that computer is not pricey to start with. So this is what I see, or what me and Trevor see when we're playing Vigi games. And this is the mic. I got the Dragon Pad pop filter on it. I don't know if you guys are into having this kind of mic, or if you have like a Yeti. I've heard the Blue Yeti is really good, but I decided to go the stupid expensive route. I also make music, so that's why you see like music stuff around. Like I got that MIDI keyboard right there. I bought that when I got this mic. As well as the thing that's under the monitor there. But this is the Bluebird microphone, that's what that is, yeah. I think it was like $400 when I bought it. I think the price went down since I got it. And then this thing, oh my god, this freaking thing. So if you ever watch us and you see us messing around with this thing and going like, oh my god, I gotta adjust this. This is the newer freaking, I don't know. It works, it does the job that it needs to do, but it's so like, it's it's like a dog compared to a cat. <laughs> like you pick up a dog, they're super stiff and they're like, there's not much motion, there's a lot of limitations. And then there's like, if I were to get a nicer one, it'd be like a cat, more nimble, whatever. You pick it up, it's all soft, and oh yeah. So that's my comparison, nice analogy for you. I mean, it swings out of the way um, decent enough. My thing is this clamp, this desk I got off Amazon as well. I think it was, it was stupid cheap and it's kind of my fault. It's not a bad desk at all. It hasn't been, like it's perfect for what we need it for, but for this, I'd rather have this clamped somewhere over here, but I can only have it clamped here because there's the metal bar underneath, and that goes in so far that I can't get a good clamp underneath right there. So that's depressing, but it works really good. That's why our part of the reason why our audio is so good. This is the real reason why our audio is so good. So this is the Focusrite uh, 2i2, I think it is. Does it say on there? I think it says. Oh no, this is the Scarlet Solo. Yeah, I wanted the 2i2 because I think it has two um, XLRs and then two for uh, instruments. This one only has one for one instrument and then your microphone, which works great. I love it. This thing is honestly the best between the live uh, monitoring and all that. There's so many different dials. So this is the direct input and then this is what you hear. It's so nice. This thing, 
I recommend it. I don't remember how much it was at all, but it has done wonders. So that's obviously rigged directly up to this. I got the wires sloppily little wrapped around this thing. The wires, I'm not even, oh, I'm not even gonna talk to you about wires. It's a mess. I put this ottoman in front of the wires because it's such a freaking disaster. Here, let me, I'll give you a peek. Here, huh? Hold on. That's all you get. That's all you get to see. Cause I'm ashamed. I need to clean it up big time. Just back here, I don't know if it, oh. Oh, it's nasty. It's like a spider web of freaking cables. But <clears throat> what we use to record, um, to actually like screen record, is the Elgato HD60S. <sighs> I think it was like 182. That was a freaking. Everything's expensive. Why is everything expensive, guys? So this is all. I don't know if you've ever seen an Elgato, but in case you're interested in it. This just goes directly to your system, and then this goes to your monitor. If I remember correctly, yeah. So this side goes to the monitor, that side goes to the system. And then you have like the power plug-in that goes into your computer, and then there's like a direct stream onto your computer. I'll actually kind of navigate through here and show you this. So this is iMovie. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea, because that's the background of my computer anyway right now. But, so there's... The game capture. This is really nice. So when it ever opens, that blacks out for a second, and then once that pops back up like that, then it's right there. Like, look at there I am. That's me. Well, that's actually you guys. But yeah, so that's super nice, and you can actually hear me. It's getting some feedback, so I'm actually gonna shut that off. But. That's super nice. That's honestly the Elgato is one of the best things. Um, we do all our video editing in iMovie. Uh, so that if you have an, a MacBook or an iMac or whatever, definitely get good with iMovie because it, it works. You can do a lot with it. Obviously Final Cut or Premiere would be way better. You could do so much more with those two, but I don't know. It's it does its job, that's for sure. And I, I don't know if you guys have seen our videos. If you're watching this for the first time, subscribe. <coughs> subscribe. Um. Yeah, this is every one of them's edited through this, and I don't think they look bad at all. And I'm sorry, I'm shaky. I'm just trying to adjust things. Um. So that's all the stuff that actually matters. I guess we can look at. So for my Xbox. We use these PlayStation headphones. Um, I don't. These are the PlayStation Pro headphones. I want to say. I don't know. I think these were like 100 bucks. Definitely worth it. Honestly, they're wireless. I think only for PlayStation they're wireless. I haven't tried it with Xbox, but I don't. I don't care about the wireless that much. And then that just plugs right into your controller, and yep. So yeah, I have the Gears of War edition of the Xbox One S. So it's an older one, for sure, I don't know. It's gotta be three years old now. Dang, things go fast. And then that's a freaking old as balls PS4. That's actually the original one. I pre-ordered the PS4 when it first came out and that's, that's it right there. That's the very first one, it runs like a horse. Not really, it runs more like a turtle. That thing is so loud, you actually can't hear anything else. I wouldn't be surprised if I did recordings on it if you that's all you'd hear. And then we have our switches here. That one's mine. That one's Steph. Steph just got this today actually. And it's nice. So this is the original switch. Another one pre-ordered. And then this is the new one. This thing's nice guys. If you're gonna get a switch I definitely recommend getting the newest one because that's significantly lighter. It's got this nice matte finish on both the Joy-Cons and the actual console, which is actually really nice. And then the battery life is why you need this one. It's stupid. She had half a battery. I had full battery and mine was already dying before she even was out of half a battery. That's insane. That's stupid. And then onto the stuff that really does not matter. Has nothing to do with us recording. Well, I guess it kind of does. So this is the light we use. 
This is stupid bright. Bam! Look at that. It's super cool though. That came from Art of Play, if you've ever looked into that. They have like a lot of card tricks, playing cards, magic tricks, shit like that. This thing's been great for backlighting, but I want to get into something, put something right there. I also want to get a mount for this camera to put right there and use it as a webcam. But that's mostly it. Got mm, just random shit, coasters, a freaking switch case, old as balls camera. This thing's old as balls, just like everything else is old as balls. I got my pager, this thing just came in today. We're gonna have some greasy stuff. This is a camera cage. Fits this camera right in there and you can use it for sweeping motions and all sorts of stuff. I'm so excited to do recordings for you guys. And then on to the most important thing in this entire video is our chair. This comfy AF chair. It's a library chair and we're not nerds. We're not nerds. We are nerds. Obviously, we have a gaming channel. But here, here it is. This is the comfiest chair ever. It matches the ottoman, of course, which is great. And uh, yeah, look how comfy. You can see in this video how freaking comfy this chair is. Like, I've fallen asleep in this chair. It's so freaking comfy. We used to have this one, but... Our floors are uneven, as you've probably seen in other videos where we're rolling away from the freaking monitor. It's... This is a comfy chair too, not as comfy as this one. But it, it's on wheels, so that's a big issue. Computer bag, if you guys care about... Or computer bag, camera bag! If you guys care about cameras and other stuff. This thing's really nice. I'm gonna stop talking about everything. This is where we charge our controllers. And... Yeah! That's pretty much it. That's our setup. I didn't even like, I didn't realize it. Well, I don't know. I love it. Oh, I love this setup so much. Could be better. This is actually our second house if you've been watching since the beginning. We actually had a different setup. We were in a white room and that setup was actually pretty good too, but the floor was also uneven there, which is just a big not bueno. You don't want uneven floors. Look how shaky I am. Jesus. There we go. I don't know how vlogger people do it. This is me holding on to the actual like handle underneath the freaking camera. This is me holding on to just the camera. Look at that. I mean, that's insane. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, this is, this, is it. this is it. So, I said I was gonna put the camera back there. That's a lie. I want the camera behind this monitor. So, usually I move this monitor in front of the computer so the camera is recording straight onto my face which is kind of a pain in the butt about our setup. So that's kind of why, well, that's one of the 10 hundred freaking million reasons why I bought this camera, but, um, I don't know, it'd be nicer if we didn't have to adjust anything and we could just hit record and then just start going, which is what we're gonna try and get at. I know we can get a cheap webcam for on top of this, which might end up happening because I don't know that I can figure out a decent setup for this camera. We'll see. I'm going to play around with different stuff, but I don't know. This is it. Freaking exciting. Hey, <laughs> you guys excited? Woo! You're so excited you're going to freaking subscribe. You can subscribe to the channel. Subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe. Sorry. Hey, that's it. That's our setup. If you guys want to see more details on that bad boy, hit it up, brother. Leave a comment. Just say, hey, what's on that freaking shelf behind you? And I'll show you. I'll show you. I also keep looking at the screen because this is the second time I've recorded with this camera. Like face on. So I'm something to get used to. This lens is freaking intimidating. So it's hard to just stare at it and make sure that or not make sure that you're looking good, like, that's me, yeah, look good. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, our freaking setup is constantly uh, improving, changing. It, I, I don't think anything stayed the same throughout this. 
just I don't know we keep adding stuff or removing stuff or cleaning it up whatever once we get like a more refined um, setup we'll probably do another video I want a different desk that's something I want to look into where my actual editing computer sits up high and my gaming computer or gaming monitor sits lower I think that's what I want so if the, I'll leave a link to everything I used in this video or everything I use in this video or try to get a link some of this stuff is older so it might not even exist anymore I don't know but I'll link similar and then yeah I don't know if you want to see more you want to see the camera we're using uh, stuff like that I'll leave that in there too this isn't like a well it kind of is a what I use let me let me try something um, <clears throat> okay, this is my phone. If it works, Jesus, what a pile of shoot video. Let me try this. So, this is significantly worse quality. Significantly worse quality. So, this is the camera I'm using. So, this is the camera or Canon ESR. Um, I got this freaking garbage pod this is a, not even like a the, the gorilla pods or whatever that's not what this is this is like an extreme off brand of that and it will not like it doesn't hold up the camera not that this is an example but that was just the weight of the camera it's kind of a pile of shoot um this is the kit lens which is a 24 to 105 if you care about camera stuff i got the rode video mic go rode video mic go something like that Computer shop. I don't know what's going on there. Don't know what's going on there. But this thing's freaking the Titas. I love this thing. I've done so much with it, so I'm excited to do more. And anyway, let's go back to that because this quality's poop. Hello. <laughs> yeah, that's it. This is my camera. That's everything we're using. Absolutely everything. Um, very exciting stuff. <clears throat> now that I showed you that. Subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. And check the description for anything that you want in this video. I'll link everything. Everything. Even the freaking MIDI keyboard and uh, what else? You want me to link that? I'll link it. That's linked. I already linked. Check it out. That's it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Leave a like if you actually enjoyed it. Bye!